everyone, welcome to part two of this explore around the village of Newbold in Leicestershire. Loads going off as you saw in our last episode. Still obviously with Phil Nikita and the man Less Explore, Steve, who's got this amazing knowledge of this area. Um, now we're going to jump on the original railway, the Cole Lawton Railway, and that's going to take us through Newbold Tunnel all the way to New Lount Colliery, where there is some, I think there's some track remains, aren't there, of the colliery? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And action. <laughs> yeah, right. No pressure then. Yeah, so this here then, this is the original trap bed of the Culloughton Railway built around about 1833, 1834 period. Um, obviously that side, we spoke about that in your last video, um, the other side of the, the junction, that was built for the colliery in the 1920s. But this, never seen a, any sort of locomotive until no. the colliery was built. Colliery, it's that cold, I can't say it. So this was originally a horse-drawn tramway. My understanding is, Steve, that it actually closed in the 1870s and then reopened when yes, they built New Lout right, Colliery, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yes. they uh, yeah, relayed it in 1924, yeah. That's right, yeah. So Newbold, we're just on the outskirts of that. It's not a very big village. It's known as Newbold Culloughton. I think that was because basically there's a lot of Newbolds around the country and so it would differentiate it, easy for you to say. Um, but because of its proximity to New Lout Colliery, it was actually one of the first places, first villages, to have street lighting and also one of the first villages where people had electricity in their houses. A few bits and bobs. It's hard curbs. though, isn't it? You look at that and you go, that could be. We've got road curbs here as well, mate, so. Yeah. A little bit there Victorian. No, <laughs> I don't think so either. I think the track bed's here. I think we've just, just, just come off it. So this line was built in 18. 33 to join up this area these brickworks these collieries with the Leicester and Swannington railway um, which we did a little bit of before on that Swannington incline before we went down to to Snibston in um, in Colville and it just then gave access to these collieries all the way into Leicester so Steve's been down looking at a culvert we're basically in the middle of the triangle then so over there that's the uh, Derby in that direction, Ashby in that direction. There's the 1924 Little Spur, which we're going to join up with in a second and head down into that tunnel. So as I mentioned earlier, this opened in 1833 as the Cole Norton Railway. Just a tramway, just a, a horse-drawn tramway. But then it didn't really make any money. So it closed in the 1870s. But then when they sunk New Lao Pit, just around the corner from here, in 1924, they relayed a load of this. They just used the old track bed and relayed a load of standard gauge track to get that that coal, that black gold, out and onto that main Midland line, off up to Derby, down to Ashby, because by that point, I think the Swannington line had, uh, had uh, diminished as well. This is like Narnia, this now. But we're coming down to New Bold Tunnel and it should just appear through that sunlight. It's kind of blinding me a bit. So basically, Steve was saying this was built kind of at the turn between, you know, canals and tramways really. So it was actually built by canal builders. Um, so it's, you know, quite a quirky looking tunnel. And also it was only built for a tramway, for a horse-drawn tramway originally. So when they came and had to put the uh, the railway through it in 1924, it was a tight squeeze. Oh, mate, yeah. where's my wellies? <laughs> to be honest with you, it's not as bad as a Ford. No, it's. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could probably row. Th yeah, you could probably row through that at the other end. What's going up over there? That end will be bad. Yeah. So we probably won't walk that cut in. Okay. Because we'll, 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 I think we'll be struggling in wellies, to be honest. Really? And I don't think your free sock fairy is going to come in. No, I don't think so either at that point. This is pretty cool, though. I like how they've got their, their garden. You sit there with a, yeah. 
coffee in the morning oh, just above the tunnel it's quite cool yeah. they don't like people exploring it either oh okay well, maybe they won't invite us up for a coffee then no so, jeez good news is mate you'll be able to go in here and walk walk down one side anyway amazing look at this I mean that brickwork seen better days than it Nikita that side jeez it is yeah <laughs> let's hope it's not like that inside yeah so it does smell in here it's not me or Phil I'll just... Okay, I'll use the same excuse for me then. It's not me either. Look at that. You can see how thin it is though. To get a standard gauge train through here. A tight squeeze. A tight squeeze, yeah. It is like that one you're on about, what's it called? A thousand yards in less this all of the same dimensions. Yeah, see what I mean though, Gareth, about, about the shape of it? Yeah. It's kind of that portion shape. I know all the tunnels were that shape, but these early ones. Yeah, they, they taper off at the bottom, they come in, don't they? That's right, well, just like just like the early canal tunnels, because all of them, like we said earlier, they're all pretty much built by people that built canals. Now, further on down this Claughton Railway, there's the other tunnel that's 480 yards long that's filled in. Now, that was built now by Nolan and Son, that were a celebrated civil engineering contractor that were, that were going for... Well over a hundred years, I think. They had a lot to do with the Macclesfield Canal and places like that. But they built the Culloden Tunnel. I'm not going to say they built this one because I've not seen any proof of that, but they may well have done. I yeah. don't know. I don't know that for sure. But yeah. Phil might know because he's talking over you. It is, yeah. <laughs> it is starting to perish quite a bit now. I mean, as you can see here, the crack in the top. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, geez, look at that crack there. I can't believe it was a house built like, on top of it, yeah. Near enough, you know. I bet they've not got a cellar. This is it. Yeah, keep your wine down here. I mean, there's a lot of water coming through as well. It gets a bit silly then. That's an album cover, that is, Phil. Phil's contemplating life. Okay, so we've come out the tunnel and we're back now, basically at that point um, in the last video where we pointed out the fact that this was a little spur from 1924 and I can see some gates here so this is obviously locking off this line because that there would have been the main Derby to Ashby line so that would have been a pretty busy railway up and up and forth up until 1980 and this is the colliery branch basically going in to New Lout Colliery so I'm guessing they closed this gate up until you know the point where a colliery train would come in and and through it would go so we'll jump over and we'll have to skirt around into the village of Newbold um, because obviously we can't get through that tunnel the other end is ridiculous it's, it's not only flooded it's all massively overgrown um, so we'll skirt around get onto the track bed and that will take us in to the colliery Find out. okay so we've come all the way around through the village that's the track bed now but to get down to it feels good you've basically got to abseil yeah. so I think we're all right I'm supposed to be the guest on this channel and I'm oh, the mate, you're the canary down the mine mate I'll do a diddy man down here, I'm not using that data rope. <laughs> yeah, nailed it mate. Good work. I'm gonna try and do it whilst filming myself. Yeah, not one hand, you'll do that. Yeah, I've got one hand. So if I stack it, which I do most weeks. Um, oh there we go, that's not too bad. I'm down. Oh there's stuff down here already. He used the dirty rope in the engine eh? Look at that now. Nah. Oh see how gloves. Nikita's got it. Whoa, nearly. <laughs> nearly. Saved yourself. Good work, mate. Right, so here's the canal. <laughs> what a isn't it? Right, so what have we got going on here then? So down there, we've got the other end of Newbold Tunnel, haven't we? Um, which obviously is, is massively, you know, flooded and whatever. And you say this is a, a way right. bridge then? Well, someone, I, I thought originally it was like some sort of plate layer port, but, Someone educated me, you know the dealio, <laughs> told me that it was a way bridge. Now, to bring your camera over here, Gareth, yeah. there's, there's some gubbins in here. Yeah, like, um, see that old metal pipe there? Oh, yeah. So, and there's some else down there, some metal work. So it probably, it probably was a way bridge. So that's the instruments that probably went out this side to the line. But again, I'm not going to say 100% that it is a way bridge this place. Is that literally just to weigh the amount of 
coal coming out in each tub. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, we're a bit. It's a bit too far from. Not the, in colliery though. So why would they have the yeah, way that's, that's what And I mean. the train had already yeah. been assembled to, be, to come out onto yeah, line. Exactly. So why would they be away? That, that's why I'm not convinced. I mean, yeah, that, I'm not in. That looks like a fireplace through there, doesn't it, as well? It does. So yeah. there was some sort of little office here where someone could keep warm on days like this. So, I mean, as you're going to see later on in your video, there, there is a, another way bridge around there, but that was for lorries coming out of the of the colliery. But all this water that's coming down here in what is now a canal this day and age, it's escaping under here somewhere. It's yeah. Like, I mean, so, these these pipes couldn't be a water supply. Well, I'll just and about, a sewage. Well, I was just about will. to say, maybe it's some sort of pumping station. Yeah, I think it is. Because you've got, like I say, you've got this pipe work here. I, I can't see why you'd want pipe work on a, on a way bridge. But I might be wrong. I'm not Yeah. I'm not technically savvy. Do you remember what they were cutting when you went to the embankment? There were brick building. There was, yeah. Side, and that was water control. I guess maybe, because look at, look, at, well, look at what it looks like when there is no water control. So maybe that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And this would have been manned then. Someone is here just checking on it, clear the water out, well, there was, there's, keep there's the... Uh, a bit more of it down here, a bit more of it. Another oh building. yeah, there's something else going on there. So, so maybe that's what, yeah, kept the so, cutting dry and there's a building up there and all. Yeah. Do you know, I've never noticed that bit, so I've been educated myself. So are we entering the colliery now then, basically? Is that why this no, fencing is here? Well, we've got it, that's someone's garden there. Oh, so okay, we won't go in there then. Round, it went round the bend here and then crossed the road into the colliery. Because when we go back out and go round, we'll go round the road that way. And then we're not far from the entrance of the colliery at that point. Okay, got you. But this here, this must have all been built when Lout Colliery was sunk in 1924, because boring concrete roof. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, like concrete. Well, little chimney flue there. Could be a valve housing, just don't know. I don't know. Well, we need to get a plumber in if it is, because we've got serious problems down here, mate. The garden that we were looking at, the fence a minute goes back there. We reckon the lines come across here and threw into there, into the colliery, but that's not how we can get into the colliery. We have to go up there and turn left. And that tree line there, in the distance, that's the, the continuation that joined up then with that Leicester and Swannington Railway, which we'll do one day, won't we? Yeah. But for now, we'll jump into the colliery. Wow. Yeah, so Steve's saying that yeah. this was perhaps one of the first ever collieries that had that provided baths for the, for the miners. I think it was. In fact, there's an info board here. Yeah, let's have a look. There you go. There he is, it's prom. That's not this one, is it? No, here we go. Pit had bats, yeah. Yeah, so 1929, so they were first in the Leicestershire first in coal Leicestershire, field. Yeah. It cost a 15 grand. Well, a free then. There you go. We're walking around the site of New Lout Colliery, which was built in 1924, closed in 1968, and after it closed, they've, they've basically just cleared it out a hell of a lot, and it's now a nature reserve, um, which is beautiful, it's lovely. You can hear, obviously, all the birds singing and stuff like that, and all the trees and stuff, it's lovely. Um, but we're obviously trying to find the industrial remains, of which there are a few, so we've seen um, the, the, the foundations there of the baths, um, they were built in 1929. Um, but I think there's a way bridge, there's some track, there's a few little bits and bobs, but obviously as you can see from, from you know, the location, it's, 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 it's quite overgrown, so we'll try and blag it. So there was there trucks down here as well? To load or, or no, I think this was road. I this was road here, okay. There's a line here and you've, there's a picture of old trucks on. Pit tips are there, wouldn't they have been, I think, there. And so think right, so the pit tips in that direction. This is the road then with with you know road trucks on it. And the rail trucks are on top of there. Some um yeah, so you can see here Gareth. So it's wide enough for your standard gauge yeah. anyway. Yeah. I don't think it's a beer actually. Containing wall either enough. side. And they've even left us some nuggets look. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of track there, look at that. There's track there, and on the other side, there's a bit here and all that today. I don't know why they're, I don't know why they're here, but... So there you go. Yeah, there's a little bit there as well. Lovely, yeah, Birmingham. Look at that. So this is where then the wagons, road wagons come off, they weigh it, go, yeah, you've got such amount of coal, off you go, son. So this was a shared entrance, one track came across, another crossing, and this was a vehicle access at this side, 
pit yeah. then, straight on. So here. the track, the track bed's down there from the map. So we're walking up now to basically the site of the colliery. And this was the platform that we were stood on there a second ago where it's unloading. So the tracks have come down. You're looking for some embedded track, aren't you, Phil? Well, it would have been nice. Then I could have took Rip past Steve for not seeing him in past. <laughs> and so it came down and across. And so this whole area, which is now, you know, beautiful back to nature, was just sheer, whoa, massive industry, colliery, loads going off. So these were the sidings, Steve? These were the sidings? These were the sidings, yeah. So that, that map we've just looked at, so like you've just pointed out, there's one little single track that comes off all this and goes onto that bank over there that you've just been filming. Because originally I didn't know what that was for over there until not so long back actually. But yeah, this was a big siding yard. A wildwood siding. Wow. Really embedded concrete, you know, concrete to me as if there was some structure in it. I really don't know why, but they are definitely standard gates because I've been that sad. Yeah, I've got, that. I got my tape measure out and measured them one day. But That's amazing like though. Concrete. From from 1968, you don't yeah. tend to find rail remains, do you? No, well usually, I mean, there's good value in them, scrap value, because they're heavy and good weight. They rip them up usually, but maybe it was just pain in the backside for them. Because yeah, because it's in the concrete, yeah. Concrete. Over here somewhere, we will we'll, we will find, there's, there's some little narrow gauge ones as well, so I don't know if they were, if they were push shunting around the yard or they had some sort of little mini diesel locomotive, I, I really don't know. But this is the main, yeah. the main attraction for it, like, you know. There's four here, look, there's another one here. Amazing. Yeah, there was a lot. Well, like you've seen on that map back there, it was quite a big, a big spread out area, wasn't it? It's amazing. You don't. You really don't tend to get track remains from from something that went so long ago. Because when you lay siding, you just put it on paper, don't you? Has it got a name on the brick? No. No. I found one book here with a name on it. So coming away from those track remains, there's there's red brick remains there, and a reed bed. So I'm assuming that's going to be squelchy. Um, so let's walk around and try and find those narrow gauge lines, then, shall we? So here we go. So we've got standard gauge, you've got a buffer there. That's it, yeah, buffer's there, mate. Yeah, it's a buffer, that's facing, yeah. Hold on a minute, that's facing that way though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, this is the end of the tier. So, and then, and then you've got these narrow gauge lines coming here. Look around the circle there, look. Yeah. So this is, this is loading then, I think, maybe from the narrow gauge that's come out of the ground then, onto the standard gauge, because there's another one over the other side there and then bosh straight out onto the main line eventually. Mate, there's loads going off here. So, so basically then the colliery site, I guess then, is in the trees, isn't it? And this is yeah, just skirts at the edge of them, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, mate. Amazing. You'll see it up here. Oh, here we go. So that narrow gauge line splits underneath the BMX track. And one goes down there. And one goes down there, but so much of this has been re-landscaped though, it's, it's probably hard to tell. It seems to just go around a corner at the end. Let's get to the end and see where that goes. I'm proper chuffed with these remains, you know, because I was not expecting... You know when you come to old colliery sites that are now nature reserves? They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but you never have any, like, rail remains at all. Uh, well, you know, hardly ever at least. There you go. Like, come, oh, mate. Where a narrow gauge goes across a standard gauge. That is awesome. <laughs> Do you know what's cool though, Phil? You know, like the groove in it they've cut out so to now allow the wheels of the, the narrow gauge to carry on through here. Like. Yeah, that'll be more than a clicky to clap on that. So, this is it's like a loop, isn't it? This narrow, I don't know why, I don't know why, I can't even tell you why it's here, really? but it's really, I'm glad it is, it's cool. Yeah, it's really I've never seen it like that before. And this is what it was like underground. Oh, mate, rather them than me. Yeah, any day of the week. Yeah. So 1963, so the tubs come up. So this is the area that we were looking at there where they were all embedded. And then it stops for a bit, I'm guessing where this building is. And then this is where we've come round here where you've got these narrow gauge that run around the standard gauge. And that then, the standard gauge will go to a head shunt down there then. So we think these are the pit tips that you can see from some of those old photos. Obviously there's big, huge pit tips that look like dead imposing. See now it's, it's part of this beautiful nature reserve. Some incredible finds. 
It's great to get out on the road with less explorer as well because I've been watching obviously loads of his videos. Um, they've gone up to try and find the pit head, so where the, where the old shafts were. Um, I was faffing about with the drone, so now I've got to find them. But hopefully, um, they've not abandoned me and gone home. So these are parts of the, the pit tip. You can tell, look, the black. Um, I just don't know where they've gone. There we go. Mate, you've kicked that away, haven't you, as well? Yeah, yeah. I might as well put my size 12 to good use. Yeah, so this is the mine shaft then. Wow. Um, it's from the fire end, look, Steve. Look, it's dampness, Steve. It works. Yeah, yeah. Cap. Goodness me, how far that goes down, I don't even want to know. Okay, so in 1924, a hundred years ago to the year, a descendant of the Beaumont family did the first turning of the sod and it was right here. So there you go. Recreated it, beautiful. That's us, New Lout Colliery. Thanks so much, Steve, mate. No worries. It's been an absolute Pleasure. joy Anytime. being with you. Cheers, Phil. Cheers, Nikita. And thank you, as always, so much for watching. And we'll see you next time because it'd be nice to do some more stuff with you. 100%. Magic. Yeah.